Greetings, everybody. So, you know, Zack Snyder appeared kind of on the Twitter uh, Twitter stream this weekend uh, with with just uh, with uh, with with just a little bit of news that really wasn't news and that it told us anything really new, but it kind of confirmed some stuff that we've been suspecting. And if you didn't see this, so somebody <clears throat> somebody was noting some some interesting stuff in. Batman versus Superman um, uh, noticed that at the scene where the, the uh, Batman and, and Wonder Woman are looking over over uh, Superman's body that there is in this frame three crosses and and Zack Snyder actually popped up and made a comment on it that this is actually a reference to Justice League 2 and to which you know somebody very startled like what we would all react is like wait a minute are you are you dropping a plug bomb on us and Zack Snyder responded with hashtag until it wasn't so I, you know I there's a there's a lot of stuff speculating as to what those crosses mean in uh, as 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 far as what what might potentially have been the plot of Justice League 2. I'm I'm not really all that interested in in that uh, exactly. I do hope that one day we get we get something with Snyder's vision um, of of the DCEU. You know, and and it might be way down the road, kind of like kind of like a Richard Donner cut of Superman 2, you know, it took forever. Um, I, I'm hoping one day we get that. And it might, you know, it might be, you know, just an outline in a history book, or it might be a comic book, or or it might be some roughly cut together videos. I don't know, but I, I hope one day we get that. But it, it's pretty clear that day's not going to be today. You know, I, I I think, you know, the one thing the one thing it, the the tweet the the uh, the comment absolutely confirms that we already knew is that Zack Snyder's been been ousted from from the project. Um, one thing it confirms that I was most interested in is, and it's also something that we knew, but I think, I think has become increasingly obvious as the movies progress is that Snyder had a very distinct and long vision for where this was going. Um, and I, I've, I've been trying to caution people when when things were early on, you know, when Batman and Superman came out, my, my biggest video ever was trying to defend Zack Snyder, um, and people were really mixed on it. Then I think that Justice League, Justice League, really brought out who who the problem really is, and it wasn't Snyder. But I, I I've been I've been trying to get people to kind of kind of look at this like when. When Man of Steel came under such scrutiny for having washed out colors, I mean, I, I, there were, you know, and I'm, I wasn't the only one or anything. I'm, I'm not some kind of visionary in this or something, but a few of us were, were trying to say, it's like, look, Zack Snyder's really good at color. I mean, say what you want about the guy, but he's really good with color. And so if he has washed out colors in a movie, it's probably for a reason. And, um, and, when Superman was brighter in Batman versus Superman, but it was still kind of washed out, people were like, "Oh, see, he responded to the criticisms from um, from Man of Steel." Or could it have been that he's telling a larger story? And then Justice League comes, and it's a little brighter. And I, I think by that time, it's becoming increasingly obvious that his vision is many, many movies long, and. This uh, this just confirms that he knew where Justice League Two was going while he was making Batman versus Superman, um, which is which is very intriguing and very impressive, and um, and that's that's not that's not the vision we're gonna get, and and I think I, from what I'm reading on Twitter from people who are noting this this exchange is I, I think that's kind of the mood of all of us is that it's it's a little hint of of something we could have had it's it's a little I mean just a little nugget of 
of of the vision that 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 this guy had for the project and it was just not going to happen because you know he butted heads with the studio so much that they removed him and um and you know and i you know look i'm not against firing a guy if he can't get a job done um but you know in 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 this guy's opinion i think justice league really really showed us that the problem has not been Zack snyder the the problem has been warner brothers and um and that's a shame because warner brothers is who's in charge now and so i don't think you know i don't think they're gonna they're going to step away from their two-hour time limit which is arbitrary and ridiculous um i i think they're trying to make I think they're trying to make the Avengers. I, I think they're trying to be Marvel. And say what you want about Snyder. He was trying to set a different tone. He was trying to set a tone much more in line with DC. And I know my other comic book fans are going to disagree with me uh, when, when I say I think, I think he hit it. I think he hit it, hit the nail on the head. And some, some people are like, no, no, this isn't DC. And that's fine. And that's fine. I, I mean, you know, we can, we can most certainly disagree on that. Um, but I, I don't think I don't think either one of us is is going to is going to go out on the limb and say that Warner Brothers has that tone and vision in 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 their heads, um, in their kind of collective corporate head. <laughs> um, and and so that's 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 the disappointing thing, you know. And this comes on the. This comes on the heel of news of, of new gods, and you know the two actually remind are, are, are remind me of each other kind of similarly. It's it's new gods the whole the whole fourth world saga that Jack Kirby was writing in the seventies was astonishingly ahead of its time, astonishingly, and he had a vision that DC did not let him complete. And uh, Kirby, um, God rest his soul, is dead now, and we'll, you know, we'll never get his complete vision. Um, but his impact on comics is undeniable. Um, and in, in, you know, I, I really think it's a shame that we missed out on that. But you know, the for for business reasons, they cut off the comic book, and. That's unfortunately not my decision to make. That's their decision to make. Um, in the same way, you know, we, we may never get, we may never get Zack Snyder's vision to judge on its own. You know, that we've, we've, in all honesty, gotten part of a story now. <clears throat> and one that was, has been heavily redacted and edited at this point. Um, it's a shame that I don't think we're even, uh, I, you know, I, I, I've kind of given up hope for a for an ultimate edition, even of, of Justice League. I don't think, I don't think they'll give, um, uh, you know, uh, the, the, I don't think they give Snyder um, credit even in that, even that far, um, uh, to to let us have that. And so, um, we're we're left with what we have, and here's hoping that the people taking over um, have equally as compelling a vision, one that's hopefully compatible, one that's distinctly DC. And um, and not just trying to make Marvel clones at two hours a pop. Um, but really time will tell. And for um, for Snyder's, you know, for whatever Snyder has in, in, in store, I've been a fan of him before uh, Man of Steel. I will continue to be a fan. I will I will continue to defend him as long as he's making what I think is, 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 is good movies. And, and I think he's done a, a, a great job as a filmmaker uh, to this point. And so I, I hope that he will continue to, to do so. And uh, we'll see what, what both of them come up with. That's really all we can do. So... Thank you so much for watching, and um, and and hopefully all this plays out uh, plays out in the right directions, and we'll we'll have some fun with some future movies.